Leanne Morgan in the studio with us. Uh, com- are you go by comedian or comedian? You can say comedian. Comedi- comedian. Yeah. Uh, you had a weird, like you really started out in comedy in a weird uh, way with jewelry? Yes. How did what? That, well, how would that work? I met my husband at the University of Tennessee, and we graduated, and he bought a used mobile home business that refurbished mobile homes and repoed them from people. <laughs> Uh, oh no! <laughs> wow, well, that's a that's a great uh, model, uh, um, honestly. Yeah, it really was, yeah, and yeah. Um, moved me to the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. And I was raised 35 minutes from here in a farming community called Adams, Tennessee, and always wanted to be in Hollywood. Always wanted to be in show business, but I didn't know how. Sure. Lord, all right, because we grew dark fire to back. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> all right, so I moved to the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains with him. Had my first baby. And I started selling jewelry. In my mind, thinking the whole time I'm going to Hollywood. I don't know, but I'll sell <laughs> somehow with jewelry. I don't know how this is going to work. Yeah, out, yeah. it's going to get you um, there. And because I, I wanted to have all my babies and all that, I started selling jewelry like women sell Tupperware and Mary Kay in people's homes. And I was supposed to be talking about jewelry, and instead I was talking about breastfeeding and hemorrhoids. And I developed a shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was in this my uh, and I was in a live. It was like my own little comedy club. Right. And I started booking a year in advance. And the company wow. noticed and asked me to start speaking at their big things, and I did, and so that you were gave like me out, confidence. So you were outperforming everyone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and so they has, had you come and speak at their uh, big whatever. Yeah, and I was supposed to be talking about how to get booked, and I I still talked about breastfeeding and hemorrhoids. <laughs> and then these women, it would be a huge convention with women, and they would go, oh, my gosh, you need to be a stand-up. And that gave me the courage to try it. Yeah. And then my husband sold that used mobile home business, went to big went to work for a big mobile home company with oh. mobile home people. Got all fancy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have dental. <laughs> oh. And um and we moved to San Antonio, Texas for him to be over South Texas. And I had a comedy club for the first time. And I had three babies that were like five three, five and seven and I started doing comedy. Comedy in wow. comedy clubs and I and I would drive back and forth to Austin Cap City Comedy Club, which was one of the best comedy clubs in the United States at the time. It still is. And and that was 20 years ago. That was over 22 years ago. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. And what did your husband think of all this? Like, during that time when you started d- dabbling into comedy, was he, like, uh, just putting up with it? Or did he think there was a future? He did not think there was a future. He was not a believer. He thought, I, well, I said to him, let's sell everything we have and I'll cook on a hot plate. And let's go to L.A. I know I can make it. And he was like, are you crazy? We need health insurance. He's real <laughs> anal retentive. And so he, I think he's always been supportive, but I think he was thinking, oh, that kooky Leanne. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. she'll make a little money and buy the kids' haircuts. <laughs> yeah. You know? Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. And yeah. then this thing blew up. Sure did. In 2008, 2019. And I, I think, I swear, y'all, I still think he's adjusting and, like, trying to figure out what in the world. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, this he's is. now, uh, he's, he's, he's all on Leon's right? husband. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chuckina. Oh, yeah. I call him Chuckina. <laughs> and so a lot, and women are like, show us pictures of you and Chuckina dating. I mean, he and he'll say, I'm more popular than you are. Oh. But he gives me so much material. He is so bizarre and weird. And we are so opposite. People say to me all the time, they go, does he get mad at you talking about it? I'm like, oh, no. He actually says things like, tell him this, Leanne. <laughs> tell, him, tell him about the time I got arrested. Uh, and I'm like, oh, okay. I will. <laughs> all right. But they're all true stories. They're all true, all true. stories. I'm a storyteller. Uh, so Leanne's got this uh, uh, the show on uh, Netflix. It's called I'm Every Woman. Uh, it's available now on Netflix. You can also find her on her uh, Just Getting Started tour. It's all over. Just go to LeanneMorgan.com and you get all the information. Uh, and uh, we'll talk more with uh, Leanne Morgan coming up. Hang on. Uh, Leanne Morgan joining us uh, in the studio. Uh, we are uh, ex- excited about the Netflix uh, show. I'm Every Woman. You got the tour going. Uh, where you're going all over the all over the country. Uh, you gonna take it worldwide? You wanna go? Uh, like- they tell me I am. Oh, and y'all, are. I don't. I cannot. I mean, the whole thing. I every day I go. What in the world? All this is such a blessing. But then I get fans from Australia, London, and they and my tour. 
people say, oh, yeah, you're going. You're going overseas. What? But that'll probably be next year. Because this is 100 cities. This just, all right, I just finished the Big Penny Tour, and I hate you boys didn't get to hear about my pennies. No, we didn't, <laughs> didn't see the Big but Penny Tour. But that was the Big Penny Tour. That was 100 cities. And then I shot the Netflix special, and that was the Big Penny Tour material. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then I had to go to California and turn around an hour in six weeks. And let me tell y'all, it almost killed me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that's now the new Just Getting Started Tour, and that's 100 cities. The Just Getting Started, I named it that because I feel like I'm just getting started at you are 57. Just getting, yeah, you're right. Yeah. With a, and I'm a grandmama. I got a grandbaby and another one on the way. And think about it, boys. <laughs> Do y'all think a Netflix special? Think about who's on Netflix. Yeah. And I'm not like anybody. I thought, uh, they're not going to let a country woman from Tennessee, <laughs> middle age with a grandbaby. But they did. They took a chance on me and they put that thing on. Because you're relatable. Yeah. Like Thank everyone you. knows you. Like everyone knows Meaning, Somebody no, like, like me. me, right? Yes, that you're the every person, and but but not just normal. Like everyone's special. You're the funny uh, every person. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you this too about because you you might know this, but you have an accent. I'm not sure if you knew this. <laughs> yeah. But my wife was raised in Southern California, and so she will watch country comedians and Southern comedians with me, and sometimes she doesn't understand them. Really, she's like, he's talking too fast. I don't know what he's saying. But you have such a, a nice understandable oh, draw that I can actually see people in Australia and in, they, they'll understand you because you talk slow enough they get it. Yeah, but a lot of times there's also <laughs> closed you, captioning on the screen as well. But and, that does help. You know, even like That's with TikTok I, yeah. and all that. Yeah. And and sometimes I do think they need to, to follow along with me with some <laughs> words. But y'all, y'all get it all the time. People go, that accent can't be real. And I think, do people really think I would... Fake then. This is the one you would pick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you remind you. You kind of sound uh, like uh, 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 y'all. What's her name? Uh, oh, little Paula uh, Dean. Paula, little Paula Dean. Little, little Paula Dean. <clears throat> yeah. I used to open for Paula Dean. Really? really? Yeah. For years, she was darling to me. But I, I, I am from farming people. My people are farmers on both sides, generations back in Robertson County, Adams, Tennessee, thirty-five mm-hmm. miles from here. And this is how we talk. Yeah, that's the way it is. That's just how it is. That's, that's it, man. I know. And plus, I'm 57. I mean, I, and I think that's young. I don't mean to say that I'm old, but I'm too. I'm touring. I'm too tired to fake this. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, can we do more Netflix things so I can do it one time and y'all can just rewind it and play it again? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do enjoy this touring. It is fun. I get out there in front of 2,000 people. Every night, and I think I'd be best friends there. One of these people. Well, you're just so likable, man. Thank uh, you. you can uh, find her uh, the uh, <laughs> the show uh, the special on Netflix. It's called I'm Every Woman. It's uh, it's out. It's uh, hilarious. From what I'm told, I haven't seen it. Um, and also LeanMorgan.com to get to a, a date for the for the new tour. And we would just love to have you back in anytime. Oh, y'all, I'll come in here and mop if you want me to. Uh, well, just tell stories about, just you know, stories. raising kids. I can bring kids casseroles and... or whatever. Oh, yeah. What's your what's Listen, your move? What's your casserole move? I do love a good chicken casserole with rice. I do. With, like, mm. uh, the mushroom, the yeah, chicken and mushroom Yeah, I like a little chicken mushroom sauce. soup. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do amazing things with a Campbell soup. It's, man, it's the I go-to. Can't, uh, with a you and my mom. mama, I'm telling you, you and my mom will be friends. I yes. bet we would, mm-hmm. Patrick. Trade recipes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this sounds so good. You uh, should see what we can do with ramen noodles. Oh, and yeah. you get rid of the little flavor packet. Yeah. Uh, we can do some damage. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Honey, I love a ramen noodle. You, yeah, I mean, too. <laughs> I do love a ramen noodle. I, and, and I know they're terrible for you. They're not healthy. Yes, oh, the yeah. flavor packets aren't the best. That's why I'm saying you throw some real stuff in there, and it's actually With really it? good. Yeah, oh, kind of make that y'all. as your base or yeah. whatever. Yeah, oh, that's wow. a good move. You need a cooking show. I think you, uh, uh, Liam Morgan, mm-hmm. cooking show. Thank you. I think I would, I would like that because I've raised three children and I like to cook and I've fed all these kids and yeah, and and I do. I think I would, I could, I could visit with people and find out their personal business you're while too, I'm cooking with mm-hmm. them. You're too busy for that though. That's the thing. I mean, you've got a hundred dates on the tour this year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I don't know when you would have time for that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like we'd tell you, you anything you'd be a support. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're right. Yeah, okay. Well, and I'd like to lose some weight before I'm on television. Every time I'm on television, I think, oh, my Lord, my head is bigger than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> my thighs are what? the size no. of little 
woman in on Today Show. I no. mean, everybody's tiny on TV. They I know. Are. It's not good. It's the worst. Yeah. That's why we're not on TV. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Check uh, Leanne out, uh, like I said, on uh, Netflix. It's called I'm Every Woman. And then the tour uh, is uh, is. Uh, Launching off all across uh, 100 cities plus. Check that all out on datesleannemorgan.com. You're a doll. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all come are by, darling. Come back anytime. Okay. I'm okay, real. girl. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, because over the years, uh, teenage kids have told you to like and subscribe, we don't have to say that anymore. You know what to do.